Hey everyone, Pete here. Just a quick video showing you the homing routine for a Route 4 CNC. Now, the procedure of homing the axis is identical for each uh, Route CNC machine, but Route 4 has, does it slightly differently because there is no linking rod between the two gantry sides, and instead the uh, auto racking is done in software rather than manually being set when the machine's turned off. So the homing procedure would be Z axis, X axis, and then Y axis and it homes to uh, all its maxes. So zero, zero is down in this bottom corner and max, max is up in that upper corner. And when it homes, it will move the gantry all the way up into the upper corner and then this secondary axis will offset itself depending on the software. Now, this axis is the primary one or primary rail, should I say, and everything should be perpendicular and square to that and the coefficients apply to the second y-axis motor. So I'll go ahead and do the quick demo of how to home it. So I'll go over to the laptop and press the home command. And as you can see, the z-axis is now home in max. Now the x. And when the y-axis homes, take note of this change in sound. When this, um, once it's home, this will change and add apply its offset coefficient. Now you might have heard this side make a slight sound after it had all homed. Now that's it applying its coefficient. So my machine is slightly not square when I built it and this rail is slightly pushed back. So in the software I've offset this side to bring it forward a bit. So after a home position the machine is fully square and the racking, any racking that has been occurred has been taken out. To be honest, once you've done it once, these, these don't get touched, but it's nice to know each time you home it, you start off with a square machine. I'll do the homing command once more so you can hear the sound, as you'll hear this side come back again. And there you go. One homed and squared Route 4 CNC. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in for the next one.